Hello everyone, in today's tutorial we're going to be taking a look at how to make this super adorable daisy applique. So this is a pattern that I found in a really old vintage magazine and what I did is I went through and I fixed all the errors that were in it and I updated it to modern terminology and so this is a modernized vintage pattern. You can make this in any weight yarn that you'd like. You can make it in thread if you want. I'm showing it here in super bulky so it's really easy to see. Now let's take a look at how to make this beautiful flower applique. So for this, again, I'm using super bulky yarn and then I've got my furls nine millimeter hook. I'm going to start by making a magic circle. And if you're not familiar with this technique, I have a tutorial on that. So once you've got your magic circle made, you wanna just pull the tail end out like so, so that it's not knotted in there. And then you will chain eight. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. And then if you go back and you count, you'll notice that there are nine, including the one that you used, the one that you made when you made the magic circle. So once you make the magic circle, you chain eight, and then you have a total of nine for that first one. So at this point, what you wanna do is turn it over and look at the back bumps. You wanna skip that first one, and into the second stitch, we are going to put a single crochet. Into the next stitch, we're going to half double crochet. And then into each of the next four stitches, we're going to put one double crochet. So one double crochet in each of the next four stitches. If you are not familiar with these stitches, please check out my swatch tutorials on how to do them. They're really easy, but you will want to be familiar with the stitches before you begin making a project. So there are my two double crochet. I've got three. Oops. Try again. And four. And then you can see we've got two bumps remaining. So I've got this one here and that's going to be a half double crochet. Each back bump is a stitch. So there's my half double crochet. And then into the very last one here, before we get to the actual circle, this is just the tail end, and then we have the magic circle, and then we've got one more stitch there. We are going to do a single crochet. Okay, so that's the first petal. Now what we're going to do is we're going to attach this to the circle by putting a single crochet in it. So single crochet inside of the ring. And then now we're moving on to the next petal. And each of these next petals is going to be done in the same way. So we're going to begin by chaining nine, we're gonna work our way back, and then we're gonna secure it back to the ring with a single crochet. So let me show you again. We are going to chain nine. We're gonna turn the chain. We're going to skip one stitch and into the second from the hook, we're going to do one single crochet. Into the next stitch, we're going to put one half double crochet. Into each of the next four stitches, we're going to put one double crochet. So there's our first double crochet. Second double crochet.
our third double crochet. Fourth double crochet. And then we have a half double crochet in the next. And in the last before the ring, we have a single crochet. So you can see that there. This is our single crochet that secured this petal. And then this is the first chain right here. And the rest of this is the ring. Okay, so one single crochet in the last of the chains. And then we're going to secure it to the ring by putting a single crochet. And then we're going to repeat that until there are seven petals. So meet me back here once you have that done. So again, I just finished the last of the petals, just finished the single crochet, and now I'm going to work my last single crochet into the center of the ring, and that is just going to help secure it down. Okay, so now we're going to make the center of the flower, and we're going to do this by making another magic circle. And again, just pull that tail out so it doesn't get knotted in there. And what we're going to do is we're going to put 10 single crochet into the center of this ring. My tail is kind of short, so I've only done six so far, but I'm just going to pull the slack on the tail just so that I have, um, so it doesn't get trapped in there. Okay, so again, that was six, so seven, eight, nine, and ten. Now to bring this together, because you can see it's made a ring, but there's a big gap there. So what you wanna do is just get the tail out of the way, flip it over so that you're looking at the back of it with the working yarn on the left side. And then you're going to go in through, on the right hand side, this is gonna be your first stitch. What was the first single crochet that you did? So just get your hook under there, and then we're going to join by bringing the yarn through. I've already fastened off, so I'm just going to pull that through like so. And then we've just joined from the back, so that is less visible on the front. And now, what we're going to do is just pull on this tail end to close up the gap here. So again, to do this, you just want to press down slightly on where the tail end is coming from, and then pull it pretty taut. You don't want to break the yarn, of course, and you can see by doing that, just slowly and gently, it's closed it completely. So now let's take a look at it with the flower. Oh, it's so cute. Okay, so now what you want to do is, I would, for these tails, you can see that the one from the center is pretty short, so go ahead and just weave that in, and then cut a nice long tail for the centerpiece so that you can use that to attach to the flower petals. The final step is going to be attaching the center of the flower by sewing it in place. As always, if you have any questions, please feel free to comment below. I hope you all have enjoyed this pattern. I think in another video, I'll go over how to apply appliques um, and what that looks like, the various ways that you can use them. And then I also think it would be fun to make the same pattern in a variety of different sizes and colors. So that way we can look and see using the same pattern, what happens when all we do is change the thread and hook. Okay guys, let me know what you think of those ideas. I hope you've enjoyed this video. See you in the next one.